Hey, hey guys. guys, we are now in Malacca city. Malacca is well known to have a rich history and culture. And for the next three days, we are going to explore some of the best things to do here. And we're going to try local cuisines that's unique here in Malacca. So let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. So good. Wow, this food section really does have a lot of food. The details are really impressive. We're going to go on the river cruise. We have just reached Malacca city. We just took a two hours drive from Kuala Lumpur and here we are. We just parked our car at the city hall, also known as Stothesh. It's a Dutch name for city hall because this is the Dutch square. Alright, we are at the Dutch square, also known as the red square because all the buildings here are red in colour. I think this is the most iconic part of Malacca city. It's probably the first thing that you see when you Google for Malacca. You have the clock tower here, there's also the fountain, the Christchurch building and the Stothash. And across is the Malacca River. The Dutch Square is part of a long history in Malacca dating all the way back to the 1500s. Back then, this city was a major trading hub in Southeast Asia and has been ruled by colonial powers like the Portuguese, Dutch and British over the centuries. Today, Malacca is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There's quite a number of tri shores over here. They're all colourfully decorated and you can actually go on a ride on them along the historical area of Malacca City. We are going on a little historical trail and we're going to check out all the main historical sites of Malacca. Just done with the Dutch Square, now we're going to head up the hill. It's quite a nice view from here. Wow. Early morning hike before breakfast. Right, we're at St. Paul's Church. We are right at the top of this hill. And from here, you can actually look out all the way to the coast. That's the Straits of Malacca. This part of Malacca used to be part of a really huge fort. So from here, it's kind of like a lookout point. And you can also get a view from all around most of the Malacca city from here. Down there, all those red buildings are actually museums which you can go visit and all museums are actually closed on Mondays. There's restoration work still going on. I think this is the highest point you can climb up. We just found out it's called St. Paul's Hill and now it's renamed as the Malacca Hill. Now let's go to the famous A Formosa Fort. It's gonna be downhill so it's gonna be easy. Actually on this hill itself, there's quite a number of souvenir stores. Right, we just reached the famous a Formosa Fort. This is just the gate that's left, but this is probably the most iconic fort in the whole of Malaysia. You can walk through it. It's a quick one. <laughs> probably takes like uh, five seconds. The year 1511 was the year that they built the fort. That's when the Portuguese conquered Malacca. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the Malacca Sultanate Palace. Okay, we got our tickets. We are at the Malacca Sultanate Palace and this is actually a replica of what the Sultan's Palace would look like before the invasion of the Portuguese. It's a very nice, interesting architecture. The palace was constructed sometime during the 1980s and it was built entirely out of wood. Just before entering, we'll need to take our shoes off and leave them at the entrance. There's air conditioning inside. <laughs> inside, the museum showcases the history of Malacca under the Sultan's rule. You could easily spend about half an hour here exploring the different segments and the hallways that span the entire perimeter of the palace. Alright, so we're just done with the Malacca Sultanate Palace. Now we're gonna head out to the next thing. Probably visit another museum nearby the Dutch Square. And then Jonker Street after that for lunch. Yeah, getting hungry. So far the weather's been good. It's almost 12, but there's no sun, but it really depends on the day. All the dry shots are playing really loud music. It does feel like a little mini disco over here. 
and it even lights up at night. Now for the next museum, we are visiting the Fort of Malacca Heritage Gallery. The entrance is free and this museum gives you a better understanding of the A Formosa Fort and what it's supposed to look like before the walls were taken down. For a free museum, it's actually pretty impressive. And you can actually see some remains of the walls right outside of this museum. Let's go and check it out. I feel like Malacca is perfect, especially if you're a history buff. Alright, we're gonna cross the Malacca River and head into Jonker Street. Let's go. Just checking out some historical spots like this bastion. We're heading to Jonker 88 for some Nyonya food. This is Jonker Street. This is also known as the Chinatown. Very, very busy street. Lots of eateries and souvenir shops. Just love the vibes over here. There's so many cafes also. You can do some shopping as well. Every time you come to Jonker Street, there's just so many things to see. We're now at Jonker 88 for our first meal in Malacca. I'm so hungry. It's lunchtime. We've ordered two bowls of laksa. One is Baba Laksa and one is Kawin Nyonya and Baba Kawin. Can't remember the long name, but we've also ordered a chandol, which I'm gonna eat first because it is melting before it turns into a disaster. I'm gonna have my chandol first. Cheers, guys. Ah, so refreshing. Mmm, my god, so good. One of the unique things about Chendo in Malacca is that Gula Malacca and this has a lot of it. It's so fragrant. And Chendo is I think one of the signature desserts here in Malacca. Mm. I've ordered the Baba Laksa. Yeah, it just looks like fish. So the noodle at the bottom. Mingun. So I have the Fuchok, the deep fried bean curd. Some tofu puffs. Oh, that's even a prawn. That's half an egg. I'm gonna go ahead and try the breakfast. Mm, the broth is sweet, spicy, and very fragrant. Okay, let's try the noodles. I'm a huge fan of mihun. It just soaks up so much of the broth. It's fishy and creamy at the same time. This is really good. I can't remember what's the difference between this and the married version. We call it kawin in Bahasa. The noodles are different. This is the laksa noodle. So it is a mix between the coconut milk version and the sour asam laksa version. Oh, it's so good. I don't think it's similar at all because the noodles is different, the soup base is different. It's the asam laksa taste but with some coconut milk in it. It's so good. I'm glad we ordered both so that I can just exchange whenever I like. Mm. We just had our lunch, it was really good. And now we're going to continue walking around Jonker Street and visit the Baba Nyonya Heritage Museum. Just a street behind Jonker Walk is the Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum. Let's head in. This museum offers a glimpse into the home of a prominent Peranakan family in Malacca during the 19th century. This house belongs to the Chan family since 1861. The townhouse is pretty large with different rooms to explore, unique furniture and carvings everywhere. And the details are really impressive. Yeah, even the stairs has some carvings on it. I love how well preserved everything is. The museum is still currently managed by the original descendants of the family. We are done here at the Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum. We are going to take a little break, go back to Jonker Walk and have a drink. For this trip, we are staying at the Baba House Malacca. It's located just a road behind Jonker Street, not too far away from the Baba and Nyonya Museum that we visited earlier. Got a room key. Let's go check out our room. 
I definitely did not expect it to be this pretty. Alright guys, we've just checked into Baba House Malacca. We've booked the Deluxe King Room. This has a very modern design. At the same time, I love how they have all these details, like Peranakan kind of design. It's really nice. We're gonna rest up and head out later, but we will also show you, maybe tomorrow, more of the hotel. We are back fresh and ready for another adventure. Now we're gonna go and get to the river cruise. We just got our tickets, now we're waiting for our boat. I think there's all people coming in. Okay, that isn't too long of a wait. It's about 10-15 minutes wait. After being in Malacca so many times, this is my first time riding the Malacca River Cruise. <laughs> We've always seen the river cruise going up and down the Malacca River, but being in it is totally different. The boat moves through the heart of Malacca city and the whole journey is estimated to take around 45 minutes. Which is perfect, especially if you only have a short time to spare and you want to take in as much of the city as you can. So the pace is not too slow, not too fast. Pretty nice pace, pretty fun way to explore the city. By the way, if you have the chance, try to get the window seat. The boat will turn around at one point and you'll get to see both sides of the river. Alright, just got off the boat. We do end where we started from, we make a turn back. That was a very nice chill cruise ride. The whole ride is not too long. Just leisurely enjoy the view. Now we're gonna go ahead for dinner. We're gonna have some Nyonya food. We're now at Atlantic Nyonya. I really love the setting here. We're here for Peranakan food. So while waiting, they serve us some prawn cracker. Tastes so good. We've already ate like half of this. It's so good. Mm. We've ordered the tamarind fish. There's pineapple and okra. This is a Janahat fish we ordered. Pai tea and lady's finger okra with sambal. And also we ordered some pandan rice. Tamarind and the fish goes really well together. The fish has a natural sweetness and it's really soft. Love it. Let's try this. Mm. The sambal is not spicy, but it has this sweet aroma and the chili. Really nice. I think it's very appetizing with rice. The sambal though, I can eat the sambal with the rice alone. The pai tea is a very nyonya kind of a salad. It comes with this little cup. It has some vegetables inside, but this is the first time I see that it has a prawn on top. Cheers, guys! Mm. I think I'm pretty excited to try the pie tea. It's a little bit like fried spring roll without in a cup. That's really good. Okay, it's time for dessert. I like how you can pour in as much palm sugar as you want. The guru Malacca is so good. Oh, it looks so rich. I'm gonna try out some. Mm. Yeah, chandong is so good. This is definitely one of the best chandongs we've had, especially in Malacca. And I would say this is the best way to end the dinner with this awesome chandong. Best way to go. Mm. We've just finished our dinner. It was amazing. One of the best food we had today. So good. That's all we have for tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. Good night. Good morning, guys. We're now going to the ground floor for breakfast. Got our breakfast. I've got myself some nasi lemak. Hotel is not very big, so yeah, it has a good variety, but not too much choices. This is the outside of the hotel. We're gonna enjoy our welcome drink. It's a pretty cute place. Quiet in the morning. 
This hotel has a calm and relaxing vibe to it. There's even these semi-submerged lounge chairs to hang out on at the rooftop. If you're interested to know more about the hotel, we do have a separate video about it. The link is in the description below. And now, we're off to our first activity of the day. We're now at Taming Sari Tower. We're gonna go get our tickets to go up to the Gyro Tower thingy. Yep, let's go! This iconic tower goes up 110 meters high and then it rotates 360 degrees giving you a full panoramic view of Malacca from the sky. Thank you! Okay, we've got the tickets! You can rent binoculars as well. Not sure what's there to see, but I'll just get one just in case. Alright, we just got in! This tower does look very interesting from the outside. It goes up and then it starts spinning. I wonder what is it like? It doesn't spin, it just goes slowly. It rotates. It rotates. You could also take this ride out at night. So you can get to see lights, I guess. Ooh, they're going up. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's so cool, they're rotating. You see up to the coats. Yeah, that's so cool. You definitely need the sunnies. Get a very nice bird eye view of Malacca City. This is so cool. Okay, can I forget about our binoculars? I don't think you really need it. We're back down the ground. That's pretty fun. That was a quick one. Puri thinks it's 15 minutes. For me, it feels like 5 minutes. I do think like the binoculars is not necessary because it's spinning. So it kind of get dizzy after a while. So now we're gonna go check out that ship that we saw earlier. It's a Portuguese ship called Flor de la Mar. Sounds like a beach club. This ship here is a replica of a real Portuguese ship that was built in 1502 and it was considered one of the finest vessels of its time. The name Flor del Mar translates to Flower of the Sea in Portuguese. Inside, it's actually a museum and it offers a glimpse into the ship's story and some maritime history in the region. Today's Friday, so they are actually closed temporarily for prayers. We have to come back after 2.45. Yeah, let's go for lunch first then. Okay, check out this building, there's like lots of souvenirs over here. But they really sell a lot of stuff over here. There's every souvenir you can get, t-shirts, keychains, magnets, everything. You don't really need to go everywhere looking for souvenirs to get. <laughs> okay, let's go for lunch. We're gonna go have some chicken rice balls at this place called Ijigai. It's our first time trying this spot. I'm so hungry from all the walkings. We've ordered two chicken rice. One is roasted and one steamed chicken. The set comes with five rice balls, each plate. I'm not sure if it's enough, but we'll see. Every time I come to Malacca, I just love ordering chicken rice ball because I don't get it back in KL. This is the roasted chicken. Let me just put my chicken on it. My sushi rice. Yeah. Sushi chicken rice or something. <laughs> right, cheers guys. I'm surprised how crispy the roast chicken skin is. And the rice is actually seasoned. It's like they have chicken soup in the rice itself. It comes with chili. And the lady did suggest to put in some sweet sauce if you like some sweetness in it. We've also ordered the steamed chicken. Mm. Steamed chicken is pretty decent as well. The skin is nice and smooth. But if I get to choose, I would definitely go for the roasted chicken because I really love the roasted flavor. It's really good. I think the, the rice is a little bit soft and mushy. Yeah, I think I prefer a normal chicken rice, uh, oil rice maybe. Which they actually do sell it here too. Much as good, they're all filled up already. Definitely recommend the roast chicken, that's so good. Now we're gonna move on to the next place. We'll head back to the city center and explore more around the Malacca. area. Yeah. Yeah. Since the weather is so good, we've decided to skip the museum and walk along the river. Quite a number of bars over here along the river. I think we're gonna come back here tonight and have a drink. There's just so many cafes and bars. Can't wait to see it lit up at night. Check out this view, guys. Mm. 
if you have the time, I would definitely recommend you guys to do the Malacca River Walk. Walking by the river really gives you more time to take in the scenery. And maybe enough time for you to decide which cafe you want to visit because there is so many. Alright, we're heading back to Jonker Street and visit the night market. We found another remnants of the old wall, Bastion Victoria. <laughs> Guys, we are back in Jonker Street and today is Friday which means the weekend night market is open. Let's go check it out. The Jonker Street night market is something we both are looking forward to. The vibe just transforms to a very lively street with lots of people and stalls that stretch about half a kilometer. Selling handicrafts, souvenirs and it's also a great place to try out some street food. The night market only opens every Friday to Sunday from 6 p.m. till midnight. Mango. Just realized I always order mango juice whenever I'm in a night market. Oh, I think we feel amazing. Mmm. Yep, fresh mango. So good. Sorry, I forgot to ask. <laughs> How can you not love mango juice? Oh, it's good. It's drizzling. Luckily, they found some shade. Lucky we got ourselves a mango juice, so yeah. let's chill out a bit until the rain stops. Hopefully soon. I want to eat something. We got a solution. Yay! Let's go. So much things for sale here. Very late, very happening. I like it. We haven't even started eating yet. We should just get something. Okay, the next sausage store I see, I'm gonna buy one. Or two. Can I have the potato? Just one. Okay. So cool, right? Yeah. That's why I always wanted to get it, but I've never ever had it for years. Always wanted to. Oh, that's fun. Like freshly fried chips. <laughs> so good. It's like eating my chips while walking on the street. We found an alley that sells all food all the way through. I think let's go check out the end of Jonker Street first and then we come back for this food street. This is at the other end of the night market. I would say it's a pretty long street and has so many shops. The best part is they actually block off the road so there's no vehicles going through this. We still haven't eaten that much yet. We're gonna buy more food, make our way back to the river where we start from. How my sauce of chicken wings, charcoal barbecue chicken wings. It looks so good. Mmm, very flavorful, very smoky. Oh, that is good. Wow, this food section really does have a lot of food. So much varieties. If you want to find this place, it's actually behind the Jonker Street stage. Food, and there's a lot of place to sit down too. There's tables and chairs. It's like spaghetti with lots of walking. Got my quail egg with some chili sauce on it. Crispy outside and soft inside. It's like a fried quail egg. Oh, it's really spicy. It's a Thai style sausage. We also got the Taiwanese sausage, but this is the spicy one. It is 8:30, and there seems to be getting more crowd here in the market. It's very lively and it's very very happening. We are back at where we started and it looks totally different. Look at this colorful tri shorts. We got sold by the colorful tri shorts. We're gonna take a ride on one of them. It's gonna go through the historical sites of Laka and it's gonna cost us 35 ringgit for one round. And we chose our tri shorts, Pikachu. <laughs> Now, depending on where you say you're from, the tri shot rider will try to play music to match it. But due to copyrights and stuff, we're just gonna use this music instead. 
case you're wondering, he's playing Lose Yourself by Eminem at full blast. It's actually not as loud when we're on the trishore as compared to the outside. Alright, we just got to our stop. It's the A Famosa Fort. Yeah, we're back here again, but this time it's at night. We got a trishore to bring us all the way here. Never been to this part of Malacca at night. It's actually pretty interesting. I guess it's probably time to head back. Back to our Pikachu. Back to Pikachu. I choose you. We did. <laughs> The Dutch Square is something else at night. I think especially today is a weekend. There's so many tri shots, it's colorful, it's very lit and it's still very picturesque. Look at how lit the Malacca River is at night. On that side of the river you can see all of that. It's all bars, a whole row of it. We're looking for a place to hang out for the night. There's a live band in there. I found this street looks really lit. We found a nice spot to chill for the night. We did not choose a bar next to the river, but we found a really cute place. Cheers, guys. So that's it for tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. It's day three. We are back at Jonker Street and we're gonna go have some brunch. Yep, at Daily Fix Cafe. Let's go. It's about 10 o'clock and there's already a traffic jam in Jonker Street. We're now at Daily Fix in Malacca. It is a popular cafe, so we decided to come and check it out. The cafe has a rustic, very chilled vibe. It's really pretty, especially downstairs. I've ordered the Eggs Benedict with salmon. It looks so good. We ordered the grilled chicken sandwich. I've got myself a hot chocolate. We ordered a really interesting one. It's a salted caramel gula melaka iced chocolate. It tastes really good. We've already drank like half of it. But it's not too much of a gula melaka taste in it. Maybe a hint. And we've ordered mushroom soup. Okay, we're gonna dig in and enjoy ourselves. Next up, we are making our way to this building and head up to the top floor to check out an observation that called the Shore Sky Tower. We're now heading to the Shore Sky Tower. It took us a little effort to find a place. It's actually located in the Shore Hotel and Residence. All right. We got our tickets from Kluk. It's actually much cheaper, especially if you're coming on the weekend. It costs 35 ringgit normally on a weekend. It's 10 ringgit more, but it's a flat rate on Kluk. We'll share the link in the description below. This weather has been a little bit damp. The good part is it's not sunny. There's even fishes up there. Look at that. It's fish on top of our heads. Fish <laughs> swimming above us. <laughs> A few more steps and we're gonna reach up. Wow, it's empty. The whole observation deck is empty, it's just the two of us. Look at the views! You can literally see the entire Malacca River from here. That's the Campo Morton right there. There's also this observation deck, but it's currently closed. The Shaw Sky Tower is the tallest building in Malacca. At least that's what I read. The best part is there's no time limit when you're up here. So you get as much time as you want to enjoy this view of Malacca. There's nothing much over here except for a bird eye view of Malacca. I wish there was a cafe or something, but there is one at the lower floor. Evening would have been nice as well as you get to see the sunset. To see the Taming Sari Tower from here. Alright, I think we've taken in as much of the view as we can from up here. We're going to go visit that little village down there called Kampung Morton. Let's go! Alright, we've arrived at Kampung Morton. It's across the river. Let's go across the bridge. This is a traditional Malay village that was built in the 1920s. So it's a 100 years old village. And it's still being occupied by residents. And look at this bridge. Kind of reminds me of a pandan cake. 
little house is actually a museum. You gotta go inside to see how it looks like inside a traditional Malay kampung house. It's a very nice paved path at the Kampung Mortem area, which is nice to walk. It's by the river and you get to enjoy a bit of the kampung houses. Oh, this Madeka house is so cute! It has a Malaysia flag on top, very cute garden, and that traditional stairs. So cute! I want a picture with it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for our Malacca trip this round. We'll be sharing more information in the description below so you guys can go check it out. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like to follow us on our travel and food videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye guys! guys.